Hello everyone, in a previous video that you can find in the description, I explained how to connect to MySQL database using Visual Studio Code and an extension called SQL Tools. But in this new video, I will show you how to use another extension to connect to MySQL database using Visual Studio Code. So I suppose that you have installed MySQL server correctly on your computer. So for more information how to install MySQL on Windows, you can see the video link that is available in the description. So to install the new extension, we have to click on this button and here we have to type MySQL. So the first extension is not the good extension. We have just to select this second extension. So let's click on it. And this is the developer of this extension. This is the number of times this extension has been downloaded and installed. And this is the rating of this extension. So to install it, let's click on this install button. Now this extension has been installed correctly and these two buttons has been added. So we can close this page and we have just to click on this button which is database. Here we need to create a new connection. So let's click on this button. And here we have to provide the information about this connection. So here we have to provide the connection name. I will call it MySQL connection. So this is the host name. We can accept this value or also we can write localhost. This is the default port number. I will connect using the root user. So I will keep this value. And here I have to provide the password. So for the other fields, they are not required. I don't need to modify them. And here let's click on connect. Now we are connected to the database. We can close this page. So here we can see the different available databases. So let's expand this database, which is called my shop. And here we can see the available tables of this database. We have here four tables. And for each table, we can see the number of available rows. Now to execute an SQL query using the SQL console, we have just to go to this first name and we can just click on this button, open query. So we have to select the database on which we will execute the queries. So let's select, for example, this database. And here, for example, let's type show tables. Now to execute this query, I can make right click, then run all SQL. And this is the result. We have four tables into this database. So we can close this page and also we can close this SQL console. Now to create a new table into this database, we have just to put the cursor on this name and to click on this button. So this is a template that allows us to create a new table. I have already prepared a query, so I will remove all of this and I will paste the query that allows me to create this new table. Now to run this query, I can make right click, then run all SQL, or also I can click on this button, run SQL. So in this page, we can see that this query has been executed correctly, and also we can see that this table has been added in this list. So we can close this page and also we can close uh, this console. Now to see the data of this table, we can just click on this button. And we can see that this table is empty for the moment. So let's close this page. And let's suppose that we want to create a new column. So to create a new column, I can make right click, then add column. So here, this is the name of the table, and for the column name, I will call it a description. For the type, it will be Varshar. And to execute it, I can click on this button. Now the column has been added correctly, so let's close this page, and also let's close this console. So here we can expand this table and we can see that this column has been added. To remove it, we can make right click, then drop column. Here let's click on yes. And the column has been deleted. So let's close this page. 
and let's click on this button to see the data of this table so the table is empty for the moment to add a new row we have just to click on this button so for the ID it is auto incremental we don't need to provide it for the name let's type for example dollar for the country let's provide USA for example also for this column it has a default value so we don't need to provide a value and let's click on insert now this row has been added to modify it we can click on the value that we want to modify we can modify it and to save it we have just to click on Control s so if we go to file then save this does not work and we can see the star here but if we click on Control s we can see that the star disappears and the file has been saved now we can close it and open it again to check the modification so here we can see that this value has been updated now let's add a new row using this button and let's click on insert and we can see that this row has been added now to remove a row we can just select it then click on this delete button and we have to confirm and here the row will be deleted finally thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel